Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I already published two videos regarding Obsidian Canvas and for those who might have missed them I will leave the link in the description down below. But for today I want to introduce you one of the best community plugins for Canvas I've ever tested, Advanced Canvas. But before we start don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future content. And now without further ado let's delve deeper into it. First of all, you need to know that it's not possible to install Advanced Canvas from the Community Plugin section because it's waiting for approval. The best way to install it is through another Obsidian Community Plugin called Brat. So go to Settings, Community Plugin and search for Brat. Install and Enable. Basically, Brat allows you to install any plugin by simply copying and pasting its GitHub repository path. So go to the Advanced Canvas repository, I will leave the link in the description down below, click on code here on the top right, and copy the HTTPS URL. Now go back to Obsidian, open your command palette with command P or control P, and search for add a beta plugin for test. Paste the URL here and hit on add plugin. If you open the settings, as you can see, Advanced Canvas is now installed in your vault. Here, inside the options panel, you can enable or disable any feature you want. I will keep everything enabled so we can explore all of them. Now it's time to create a new canvas and explore all the features offered by this plugin. Let's start from the UI. The first thing you can notice is that you have two new buttons inside the canvas card menu. The first one allows you to add a group by simply drag and drop this icon. The second one allows you to create a slide, but I will show you the slides when I will talk about the presentation mode. Now let's create a node. As you can see, you also have two new buttons inside the node pop-up menu. The button with the play icon is to set the node as start slide and we will see how it works very soon. With the other button you can change the shape of the node. In the canvas control menu when you switch to read only mode it activates three additional buttons. These buttons allow you to disable node pop-ups, the zoom function and the pan function. Now that you are familiar with the new UI, let me create other nodes, so I can show you the different shapes you can use. You have the terminal, the process, that basically it's like the default one but with the text centered, the decision, the input output, the on page reference, the predefined process, the document, and the database. The shape of the nodes is not the only thing you can modify. If you click on this brush icon, you will be able to customize the style of the arrows choosing between long dashed, short dashed, or dotted. Now, if you open the command palette and search for advanced canvas, you will notice new canvas commands. These commands can either be activated directly from here or assigned to hotkeys for ease of use. Now, let's say you are working with two interconnected canvases and you would like to create connections between nodes from one canvas to those in the other. Typically, you would have to copy-paste nodes from one canvas to another. However, with Advanced Canvas, you can embed one canvas within another and if you click on the small door icon here, you can start to create direct connections to nodes inside your embedded canvas. You can also move elements from one canvas to another 
and at the same time automatically create a link within the current canvas. This operation can be easily achieved through the encapsulate selection command. To do that, you just need to select the nodes you want to move, then open your command palette and search for encapsulate selection. Here you insert the name of the canvas you want to create, and here you have it. We've successfully moved the selected elements to a brand new canvas and created a link in the previous one. Finally, I want to show you the presentation mode. In presentation mode, you can navigate through the nodes using the arrow keys. I've already created a canvas for this. First of all, we need to create some slides, and we can do that with this button inside the canvas card menu that we already saw earlier. The first slide that you drop will be automatically set as a start slide. Now let's connect the slides in the sequence desired for the presentation. Since we have multiple arrows pointing from the same node, we can number them in the order we want to navigate through them. And now, open the command palette, search for start presentation and let's start our presentation by hitting enter. Using Canvas to visualize your thoughts and ideas is great, and now with Advanced Canvas you can create presentations, flowcharts, and more. Remember, you can follow me on X and Mastodon, and you can also join my Discord server and subscribe to my website for further content about productivity, PKM, and note-taking. I will leave all the links in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. I would love to hear if and how this plugin will be beneficial for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.